Welcome back to Go and Preach. We are looking at practical ways that we can reach out into the community with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the book of Romans, the apostle Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So we can't be ashamed of the gospel, and I believe it is our duty as Christians to be proactive in sharing our faith. Now, many people, they, you know, they get overwhelmed. I, I did a series talking about open air preaching. And as soon as I said street preaching, maybe some of you stopped listening because you got scared, you got nervous. He said, I don't want to do that. That freaks me out. But there are many other ways that you can be a witness and you can be an evangelist in your community. You don't have to be a street preacher. You don't have to pass out tracts. You don't necessarily have to go up to complete strangers. Now, I encourage you to do all those things and step out of your comfort zone. But there are areas and there are ways that you can be a witness of the gospel in ways that you can do uh, without too much stretching, if I can say it that way. And today, I want to talk about nursing home ministry. Ministry into the nursing home. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 27, tells us, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Now, we could make an application there of orphans, uh, but we're not doing that today. Today we're talking about nursing homes and the elderly, the widows. There are many people, there are millions of people who are in nursing homes and assisted living facilities in the United States of America today. Many of those people uh, are there because their family, now I'm not trying to make anybody feel guilty, but many of them are there and they feel abandoned by their families. Many of them don't have anybody that comes to see them on a regular basis. Many of them are depressed and disillusioned with life. And many of them, just by virtue of their age, are literally on the brink of eternity. And many of them do not have assurance of salvation. They're not certain that they're going to go to heaven, but they think about it all the time. Now, I happen to have a job that takes me into the nursing home every day. And now I happen to be, my day job is to be an x-ray tech. So I go into the nursing home every day and I get to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. And, and whenever, when I have time, I actually try to begin discussions about spiritual things and encourage them that they can have assurance of their salvation. You know, uh, John tells us that if we have the Son, we have life. And he who has not the Son does not have life. And these things I have written unto you that you might know that you have eternal life and i encourage my patients and, and when i get to talk to them that you can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're going to heaven that you have eternal life and i would encourage you uh, if you have a nursing home nearby and guess what we all do there's probably at least 10 of them here in chautauqua county there are nursing homes and there are lots and lots of people who would just give anything just for somebody to come in and visit them and have a conversation with them. They enjoy it. You don't even have to jump in, jump right into Jesus. You could sit and talk about the weather. You could talk about a television program. You can ask them to turn the prices right off for an hour while you talk to them. And, and, and talk to them about their family. They all have wonderful stories to tell. And there's a lot you can learn from somebody who's been on the earth for a long time. Now what I've also noticed is that many of those nursing homes are actually looking for volunteers who will come in and visit the residents. Now, I didn't know that. Uh, there, when I was up in Buffalo, I was doing x-ray, going into nursing homes. And I, because I have a desire for ministry and some training in ministry, I actually reached out to the nursing home administrators. And I said, do you have any need for any uh you know, nursing home chaplaincy services. And you know what? Within a matter of a couple of weeks, I was the de facto chaplain for two nursing homes because they didn't have anybody. And one nursing home, I was running a service every week 
for over a year. I was going in there and and, and playing my guitar, singing and, and preaching the gospel. And God gave me many opportunities to lead people to Jesus and to be a witness to the staff members and to, to perform what the Catholics call last rites on people who were dying, where I got to go and pray with them and give them assurance of their salvation before they went on to glory. Now, there are many ways that you can be involved in nursing home ministry. Reach out to the chaplain if there's already one. Maybe you can come in and do a special Christmas program or sing Christmas carols, or followed by a presentation of the gospel message. When I was in Bible college, we actually used to take a team to the nursing home and we would actually walk through the hallways singing out loud, walking through the hallways. We would sing uh, worship songs with permission, obviously, with permission from the administrator. Weekly, we would go. We'd sing and then we would go down and gather in the dining room and anybody who wanted to come, they would come down and then we would sing some more and then we would present the gospel. So there are many opportunities to be involved. Maybe your church lives right next to a nursing home and they might actually give you permission to push those people out the door and into your church. You could fill your church. How many empty seats do you have in your church? Maybe, just maybe, you could fill them with hungry souls who are just looking for some companionship in their last days. So I would encourage you, Reach out, consult with nursing homes nearby, and see how you can get involved. Just recently, uh, I went with a chaplain to, to an adult daycare service where he was singing and he was giving a message and he brought a guitar and, and he asked me if I would play, so I played a song. I played, I think, two or three songs. And after I was all done, the <coughs> activities director came up to me and said, would you come back and hold a service with us? Once a month. And I I sadly had to decline only because I am a very busy person. So I agreed that I would do something like quarterly or every six months. But there are opportunities out there for you to be a witness in your community through nursing homes. And if you want any more information, please reach out to us at Drash Ministries. Contact me. I can connect you with an activities director who is looking for somebody to come in on a weekly or monthly basis to sing and to share the gospel. So God bless you. Come back next time and we will continue our series of evangelism and go and preach. God bless you. See you next time.